Are you lonely? Are you looking for friends to play besiege with or potentially fight them? Do you want a plane that flies for you instead of you flying it? Well, fear no more. In this video, I will show you how you can make an automatic plane. Before we start with the video, you have to know how to make planes. There was a video that I made earlier where I showed you how you can make a plane, the engine and everything that might be important to build a plane. Uh, so if you don't know, go watch that video. And you will also need a few mods as well. You will need the additive loading mod, the block enhancement mod and the no bounce mod. Once you got those mods, we can begin to build your automatic plane. To make your plane automatic, you'll need the anglometer, the altimeter or the normal sensor. Yeah, the normal sensor. Now just load your plane and do the same as I am doing right now. So add two sensors on each side of the wing. Add one sensor underneath. I know I'm doing two, but trust me, just do one. And two more on the wings that face forward. Once you got that, you'll have to angle the sensors on the side a bit, about 30 or 45 degrees. That should be enough. Now you're going to angle the sensor underneath. I usually do 45 and more, 30 is a bit too less. And after that, we are going to start uh, programming. You can put any number you want in uh, this section, but I usually do uh, something else because when I fly another plane, um, I'll have trouble. I'll have I'll have trouble. Let, let's just say that. Uh, just do the same as I did. Put some numbers into uh, into the keybinds. Make sure to flip stuff when it's not correct. Also, put a, a low number into the limits because you don't want the you don't want uh, your plane to um, rotate too much. Not too aggressive. Okay, now we are going to program the sensors. And here uh, on the side of the wings, we are going to um put a not so large number but 40, 47 is enough and let it emulate um the number which makes the plane go to the right so this would be number nine and on the other side we are going to do number seven Now uh, to the sensors that face forward, we want to uh, make the distance about 150 or 100 and let it emulate 8. So the plane will go up when it sees something up ahead. <clears throat> One hundred and fifty on each side. Okay, that's perfect. Now the sensor underneath. This area should also have a large number, about hundred or hundred one hundred fifty. Not not lower than a hundred because then uh, the plane will go too low. And also make sure that the mode that the engine is on automatic. So 
So as you can see, it works pretty all right. It can dodge the hills. And this is uh, one way of making the automatic plane by just using sensors. So this works, but there are other ways as well. Um, like using the other sensors, like the anglometer. Now I'm going to show you how to use the anglometer. Now you're going to take the anglometer and put it uh, somewhere in the middle. No, not in the middle, but it has to face into a, a certain direction, like that. And now you're going to put a number like 15 degrees or 20 it's up to you but five should be a pretty good number and let it emulate let it emulate uh Let it emulate 9. So when it angles too much to the left, it will automatically correct itself and angle it back towards the middle. And same goes for the other side, but this time it should emulate the number 7. Okay, that should be good enough. You can remove the sensors on the sides if you want and just like that it can fly pretty decently. However, there might be a problem that you will face at some point. Let's say your plane has a large number from the sensor underneath and as you can see it will go up in a really aggressive degree which isn't so optimal because then it will just repeat itself going up and down up and down and that's a bit annoying I think what we are going to do is to stop that we are going to add an anglometer again and this time it will emulate the number which will make the plane go down so let's say so about 20 degrees if it goes past 20 degrees it will stop trying to force the plane go up so that it won't uh, go in in a more aggressive angle so it kind of stops No, that was wrong. 15 degrees. Okay, 15 degrees. That's pretty reasonable, I think. And as you can see, it doesn't go so sharp up anymore. It kind of controls itself. That's pretty much it how you can make your automatic plane. Um, if you have any questions, do let me know. And if you have any criticism or anything like that, let me know as well. And enjoy the rest of the video.